Hello, Harry Tools users. I'm just doing another quick tip here. Uh, and this is going to be about the custom curve profiles. So basically what you're going to do is you have your curves and this is just a demonstration. So when you're making your hair, you have your curves and normally you would have your bevel profile. Uh, so when you're an under hair tool, you can go to manually edit profile. And if you go to update profile, it will set them back as default, but I don't want to do that because you want to un uninstance it so it doesn't change. So if I uninstance the profile, and then I go to update, it's going to go back to normal. Uh, and then you can adjust the settings here. This is just your normal profile. But now if you want to make custom profiles, you would select your curves and you would go down to your curve um, tab here. And then you're going to go down to uh, your bevel under geometry and you're going to go to object. And then now you can choose a different profile. So I created a couple examples and just so you can kind of see what you can actually do. And you can, so you can create your own custom bevels or profile. So let's say I want to have this one. So I would just go click on your curve, go to here. I'm just going to choose number one and now it's going to change it to that shape. And then if you edit the shape, so if I go into edit mode, you can kind of just edit and then it will change your hair. Um, so now if I want to change it to the other one, so number two, so that's going to look like that. And then you can also edit it. Let's try the third one. So if I change this to number three, we have more of just a regular kind of one with a little thing at the end and um, we can change it to four now it's this kind of cre crazy one here uh, just for an example you probably wouldn't be using that for anything but just an example and then these last two are more of the kind that you would probably want to use for making hair so if you go to like number five you have this cool little look here and then number six is one that i actually use a lot when i'm making hair so it's from all angles so it's, it makes it look really full normally on the the less transparent hair um, to add the volume and the flyaways, I usually use this profile. To create your curves or your profile, your custom profile, you would actually just go to Shift Add, Shift A, and you're going to create a curve. Let's do circle. You'd want to scale it down quite a bit. And then you can, that's where you would save this out as like, maybe you call it like circle profile or curve. Or a number, you can number it and then you can kind of move that over to the side if you want to have a different types. And then you can either duplicate it and then change it around, or you can actually add like a, uh, I usually would do like a path. And then you can like duplicate it and then go rotate. Duplicate it, rotate. If you want to do this one, which is really popular. And then you would just select them all and then join, join them together, then rename it. Um, something else, I'll just name it number two. And um, I mean, you can pretty much just keep doing the same thing, just kind of creating your own custom ones and um, using them as your uh, profile. And that is it. And then just make sure that you uninstance your profile if you want to create another layer and you don't want it to share, because if you do edit or update the profile or anything, it's going to change everything if it shares the profiles or if it shares the bevel. So you just want to make sure that you uninstance. So if you hit on instance, it's going to create like another one, so it, it won't change it. Um, so that's basically my quick tip. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have questions, let me know. Um, hopefully you find this useful. Thanks for watching.